So today we have something really exciting for us mostly. Yep. Because we get to eat five different meals. We are sharing with you our top five fast foods, keto meals, best options on the road, on the go, right here. After some deliberation, we came up with the list of five. And honestly, there's probably only like a few others that could have made the list. And for fast food, we didn't count things like five guys, in and out uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, things like that. Those would all definitively be above everything here. This is like McDonald's level fast food. So you let us know below what your top five is. Top five. Going in reverse order. Number five, Chick-fil-A. Hi, welcome, I'm Master Hi, can I have the eight piece grilled nuggets meal? Alrighty. With a side salad. That's all, a diet, diet Coke. There you go. You Thank guys you. have a great day. You, you too. too. So I've never actually had it. That's the only reason it's number five. If these things like kind of blow me away, maybe it would move up. They also don't have a ton of options. So what we got was an eight count of grilled nuggets and then a side salad with avocado lime ranch dressing, diet Coke, you get a soda with it. But these grilled wings, it's not just chicken. Nuggets. It's like chicken, there's a bunch of fillers and stuff in it. It's, I think, two carbs per how many? Per six or eight. So how much, do you, how much do you think this meal was, if you don't remember? Seven bucks. Eight fifty. That's a ripoff. This is not a lot of That's food. That's a ripoff, in my opinion. This is not filling me up. No. This is three grams of carbs, two sugar. I wouldn't really want to eat this, but it's like a decent option because at least it's 32 grams of fat. The downside is the fat comes from soybean oil, which you'll find is almost unavoidable when you're eating yeah. at fast food restaurants. If you're wanting to add fats to your meals and you're thinking, oh, I'll just grab packets of butter. It's not butter, it's buttery spread, which yeah. is margarine. But we've never tried the nuggets, so I am excited about that. Me too, you go first. Is it flavored at all? That's good. That's really good. It's an A+. Plus, it right? tastes like chicken though, so it's a shame that it's just not straight chicken. I like those, Me I would too. eat those all day. That's the thing, I could eat those all day. It's not terrible. I've no. seen a lot worse. Like the Taco Bell salad is really bad. So I would definitely say quality salad. I've had Wendy's salad. I've had a lot of salads. Number four. KFC. They got the $5 fill up boxes. Chicken Welcome meat. back to KFC, how can I help you? Um, can I have one second? Sure, let me have you pull back to the first menu board and then when you're ready to place your order, pull it back up. You can't read the menu though. What? Okay. But we can't see the menu. Thank the you. First menu board. Wait, but you can't see the menu. This is absurd. It's not even a full menu back here. This is not the full menu. They assume we want fried. No, there's grilled chicken right there. Oh, uh, the Where? kids meal. Go ahead, what's your order? Okay, I changed my mind. Um, the number two, the two piece white combo. Original. Grilled. What's the side and drink? Uh, green beans and do you have like diet Sprite? I have diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi then, please. Literally called fast food, boo. Are you taking pictures? No. Yeah. Cause you know that's against the law to take pictures of people without, without consulting with them. Okay. You do know that, right? Yeah, she's taking oh, pictures okay. of me. Okay. Oh my gosh, the service. Is great. The service, guys. Some people just want to go at all times, you know? Like they're just ready to go drop of a hat they're looking for an excuse my, my water's open we were road tripping once and we just got a 10 piece bucket and we just ate the whole bucket of grilled chicken so it's good we've had it and this is called a fill up box so it was only five dollars it's one of those five dollar box things and it comes with a drink diet coke they didn't even give us our cookie did they no they didn't give us our cookie we're supposed so to get a cookie if and a you biscuit. saw the experience it was a horrendous experience really good for verbal harassment a plus on the verbal harassment from the if employees that's what you want you go to kfc so we got green beans green beans is a side and then we got the two piece what is that, is that a, that's what breast that's a breast breast and, and a wing but uh the nice thing about the grilled is you're not dealing with like fried oils and fast food is always going to fry it in like some bad oil so at least it's like not impacted by that downside though is the only side they have like 12 different sides the only one that's good for keto is these green beans here Those and they've been like brewing in a soup for 17 days yeah. they're like soggy and terrible <laughs> but i'm gonna give them a try for you try what am i eating guys baby food literal baby food Come on, bro. <laughs> Try a little, Oh my KFC. gosh. Yeah, just zero effort on that. That's really bad. I mean, chicken's tasty. It's hard to really mess up. Not a ton of flavor. Is this skin? See, I'm eating this whole, like, I'm eating it. Am I happy? No. No. The grilled chicken, 
And it'll vary place to place is a really good option. The only thing is again, this is gonna be pretty high protein and there's no real means to add fat to your meal whatsoever. Yeah. They don't have fat in the store at all. Like the butter is not real butter. There's no like, you know, dressings or anything good to add. Same with Chick-fil-A. Now it's getting good. Julius uh, is gonna eat this. Just so you guys know, the top three is like a clear cut top three. And then there's everything else. You guys will In agree. my opinion. Number three, Jimmy John. JJ in the house. Dr. J in the house. Can I have a number 12? Okay. Add bacon. Um, can I do like a unwitch? No, ma no mail, and that'll be it. Here you go. Thank you. Have a nice one. You too. A number twelve beach club. Beach club, and then we added bacon, and Matt took off the mayo, so the mayo is gonna have soybean oil or canola oil. You can always add it at home. So like, that's what I would do if I was getting it for dinner. I would just bring it home and douse it in mayo. This was eight seventy six. It's a little pricey, right? It's. I mean, you can make this at yeah. home for three dollars. Yeah, maybe even less. You like it? It's avocado spread. That's good. Nice and refreshing. And they know how to do a good unwitch there. Yeah, not a ton of flavor. So these are like the definitely the best lettuce wrapped sandwiches I've ever had from Jimmy John's. Mm -hmm. You can basically get all the sandwiches as lettuce wraps too. They're pretty much all keto friendly. And and the nutrition is online, which is great. You can build it online. Mm -hmm. You can also do this at like Subway and stuff. And you which can get which, I'm sure you could. You don't think you get a lettuce wrap? You probably could. Or a salad bowl. There's options if you don't want like a bun or something. Number two is Wendy. I'm sure you guys saw it coming. Hi, can I have a double bacon cheeseburger with no bun? Thank you. So Wendy's is Beautiful. great. Couple reasons, they give you actual food. This is a hamburger, it's actually just ground beef. Bacon is like just bacon. It the looks cheese great. is not real cheese, it's like Kraft Singles. I it think. is Kraft but, Singles for sure. But uh, this entire thing is like two carbs, I think. The it cheese looks, has one gram each. Yeah, it looks filling. It looks delicious, appetizing, and hard to find that. Like, if I got a bun bunless burger at McDonald's, it's, it's gonna be like a little puny thing. It would be so gross, and it wouldn't even be like a good brown color. The way we ordered it was not the best way, I'm pretty sure. We got a bake. I said double bacon cheeseburger, but he charged me for a baconator. But I think if you just order the patties individually, they're like a dollar, so quarter pound patties. Mm -hmm. A bacon is a dollar. So you can like build your own thing for cheaper than this. This was a six fifty, I think. Yeah. So just build your own and you're good to go. I'm getting in here. Okay. It smells so good. Yeah, this is like one of the few fast food meals I would actually feel pretty good about eating. Like it's not too far off from what you would cook at home. Yeah, when I opened it, I was like, we should go here more often. Like I understand why a lot of people do go here. That is tasty. A little on the dry side for mm -hmm. sure. But as far as fast food burgers go, I've never been a huge fast food burger guy. This tastes like quality at least. I haven't had a Kraft single since I was like seven. They taste so different. Yeah, they're not good. They don't, don't taste like, like they taste like um like cheese you would get at like a carnival. That's interesting. I would just get like the patties and bring it home and put cheese on it myself. I might even put this at number one, if I'm being honest. This is more my style of eating. You'll see our number one. Number one. This is like a just an actual pound of food too. Yeah. Chipotle. Chipotle. Can I do a um, uh, salad? Yeah, salad bowl. No. Can I do the carnitas? They have queso now. Should we try it? Can I get some queso as well? Because it's new, we've never tried it. Is it good, have you had it? Can we get the tomato salsa, cheese and guac? I would normally get sour cream. Yay! So this is probably the best bang for your buck for in sure. my opinion. Seven thirty, and we got guac. Did they charge us for extra? I don't think nope. she did. Basically, all you want to avoid is like the beans, the rice, the the what? So fritas, which is like tofu. I so think that's fritas. a little it's higher. It's like nine carbs per serving. Um, we also got the queso cheese, which is new, and it's a couple grams of carbs per serving. But we wanted to try it. 
and we'll let you know what we think. The meat we got is carnitas. That's the highest fat meat they have there. So that's why we went with that. But all of the meat options are good. And then we got a salad bowl. So no beans, <laughs> no rice, just a bed of lettuce. That's, that's, this is a lot. I didn't really, I forgot how big their meals are. Don't get the vinaigrette though. That's like just loaded with sugar. No. You wanted to try the queso. I can try it after. Queso's not good. Don't get the queso. And you know what? I'm going to agree with Matt. I think the Baconator, Wendy's takes first place. Sorry, yeah. Chipotle, you're second. I like Wendy's first. I It used to be a lot better than this. I haven't had it in so long. Yeah. It doesn't taste like quality real food. There's a few foods that just everything that you get from the place has the same taste to it. And Chipotle is one of those places. Like It just has a Chipotle taste. I mean, it's also consistent. So if you love Chipotle, you yeah. always know what you're getting, which is good. But yeah. Sorry. We're cha changing it out. Sorry, Chipotle. Wendy's new number one. Wendy's is killing it. This is big and good. Yeah, that's filling. That's a great option for convenience on the go, a meal, whatever. And then some we didn't mention, but have good options. Popeye's has the blackened tenders. Yeah, we didn't count anything that's like a regional thing. Arby's, a lot of people do that. They're, they have brisket. I'm not into just like eating roast beef on its own. Yeah, though. and their cheese is probably just really gross cheese too. But no, yeah, they have like a smokehouse brisket thing you can get with no bun that's maybe kind of good. McDonald's, Burger King, bunless burgers are just not as good as Wendy's. Wendy's is better. Taco Bell has options. The egg... Um, egg taco for egg breakfast. Egg taco, but they only have it for breakfast. And then you can do like a protein salad bowl there too as well. Mm -hmm. Doing this really reminded me how poor of a quality all this food is. And if I had the option of meal prepping or like cooking late at night after I got home, I would probably rather do that. But it's so cheap. It's incredibly yeah. cheap. Like if you're eating carbs, Burger King, 10 spicy chicken nuggets for $129 or $169. Frosty, 50 cents. You get in those three times a day. Yeah, you can get 2,000 calories for like four bucks at Burger King. No yeah. problem. I understand why some people eat it. I would say stay away if at all possible. Like it's, it's not that, it doesn't take that long to cook at home, meal prep. Stuff but, like that. But if you're gonna eat fast food, you know the best five places to go. I would just upgrade to takeout. Like I would go Buffalo Wild Wings and stuff over this. Yeah, but some people, I don't, I don't know the circumstance at which you <laughs> literally have no time where you feel like fast food's the only option, but there are people There's times, like, I guess. All right, guys, these are our top five. List your top five below, fast food places. See you soon.